Hello you guys and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madonna and in today's video I am so excited because I've been seeing a bunch of people go to Target and get like a bunch of self-care items and I wanted to do that too. And I'm about to get ready to leave and I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup, look a little more presentable than I do right now. And so yeah, I'm just gonna basically take you guys along with me vlog style to Target and I'm gonna pick out a bunch of self-care items, like some things that I've already tried out, other things that I've never seen before and just kind of try them out, see how they work, and yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me. And I also haven't done like a vlog style video in a while, so this is gonna be really exciting because I did really miss making these videos and I just have not gotten around to it yet. But before we get into this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give this video a big thumbs up, comment, and of course subscribe to my YouTube channel because that'll really help me out. But I'm not gonna make this into a super long intro, so let's just go ahead and get right on into the video. <laughs> Okay, so I'm here. I have actually no idea of what I want to get yet. I know I do want to get a blush, but I'm not sure what. I did want Merlot Moment in the Milani blush, but they're actually all out, so I'm really upset about that. So I guess I'm just going to wait till it's in stock, so I'm just going to have to hold off for the blush for today. I did hear that NYX had some really good concealer, but I really don't need that. I honestly have like 20 concealers and I don't even use them all, so the last thing I really need is a concealer, so definitely not going to be getting that one today. So these are my favorite shampoo and conditioner. These are the Anomaly brand and I just discovered them. And they've hydrated my hair so much and it's literally only like six bucks each so it's totally worth the price in my opinion so i just picked up this dove seven in one miracle mist i already have the it's a 10 like leave-in conditioner but i've been wanting to try a new one because i've been using that one for years so I'm thinking about picking this one up, but this one also looks really good too. So I have no idea what I want to get. It's between these two. Oh wait, I literally just realized this is a curl refresh and I don't think I really need that. So I've heard a lot of good things about this brand, but I don't see if they have like leave-in conditioner. Wait, I actually think this one looks better. Um, okay, so now I'm debating between these two. Um, you know what, I think I might go for this one because I've never um, tried anything from this brand before. So I guess we'll see how this one works for my hair. So I've heard a lot of good things about this brand. I've never tried anything from them. So I'm contemplating getting a sunscreen, but it's kind of expensive and I don't know if I need another sunscreen. I literally have no idea. So this is my all-time favorite cleanser right now on the market and I've been buying this repetitively for like three months. It is so good. But I'm gonna wait to get a new one until my other one runs out because I still have a good amount left in my other one. Okay, so I think this one is actually a new scent in the, um, I don't even know this brand, but you guys know the brand this, that this is. And oh my god, that smells so good, but apparently it's not supposed to be good for your hair. Not sure though. Apparently it's not good for your hair. I've seen a bunch of TikToks about it. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I don't want to chance it because my hair is already not in good condition. Honestly, like doing this is so therapeutic. I love shopping for self-care. I feel like I should do it more often, but I literally don't. So I feel like this is a sign for me to do it more. All right, so I've never seen this brand before, but it's like $14 per body wash. And I don't know if I want to be doing that, but it does not hurt to smell it. Let's see what she smells like. Okay, I do not like that. Um, maybe let's try this one. Like I'm smelling it as if I'm gonna get it, which definitely not, but okay, that one just smells like a baby. I don't know. Yeah, not really about this. This brand and their body washes are so good. I have the pink one. Well, I had the pink one and that one was amazing. 
And I used to have this one, but I don't really like this one as much as the pink one. And it's not looking like they have it. I guess I'm just gonna leave out the pink one for today. But like every time I come here, there's always like new products of like everything. And I wanna try like everything they have, but my bank account is literally gonna cry if I do that. So I guess I just have to pick and choose. All right, so this is like shower butter. I've never heard of this before in my life, but I love Dove in everything. So, wow, okay, that smells so good. Um, this one is in, I don't even think this one has a flavor. Well, it says Moringa oil. Never heard of that in my life. Okay, so I did decide on the Pleur Glycer, I don't even know how to say this, Glycerin. This one smells even better than the other one that I that I smelled and this one smells fantastic. Apparently you have to put it on before washing your body, but I'm just gonna go against the rules and do it after washing my body. And they also have the same one, but in a body wash, which also looks really good, but I'm just gonna stick to the body butter. So I definitely need a shave cream. This is usually, this is typically my favorite, but I wanna switch it up. I think I'm gonna go for this one, the Cremo French Lavender. I always love to switch up my shower products. I hate using like the same thing for like too long. I just get bored of the same product. And I'm also gonna pick up some razors. These ones are like $7, so they work really well too. So definitely worth it. Okay, but this shave cream also looks really good too. So I think I'm gonna get this one instead. And I also hope I don't get copyrighted because the music is so loud in here for God knows whatever reason. It's actually really annoying. And I actually think I'm gonna pick out a body wash just because I did not get one. I was going to, but I completely skipped past it. And I have no idea what I wanna get. I've actually tried out most of the body washes that they have, but I wanna see if I can find a new one. So I really like this raw sugar brand for body washes. So I'm gonna smell a few of these and see which ones I like the best. This one smells so bad, oh my god. Let's try beach rose and coconut milk and shea. Mm. I had one last time, I don't remember what it was, but it smelled so good and I cannot seem to find it here. So I think we might be out of luck. This actually looks pretty promising. I like the way the package looks. So let me test these out. One, this one looks pretty good. I really like pink, so we're just gonna settle on the pink one. I don't feel like smelling any more of these body washes. This right here is the best sunscreen. It's literally my favorite, but I already have it, so I'm not gonna get another one. I honestly wish I was a lipstick girl, but I just never have gone around to using it. And I just hate the way lipstick looks on me. So these Essence mascaras are literally my favorite cheap like drugstore mascara, but I already have two. But I'm contemplating on getting this one. I mean, it's only like $5, but mm, I actually don't know. I want to try this one right here, but not looking like they have it today. I've seen these like everywhere, but I just can't justify spending $9 on a hand sanitizer. All right, you guys, the bag is equipped. I'm gonna do a haul when I get home. It honestly came out to more money than I thought it would be, but it's okay because we have some new self-care products to try out. All right, you guys, so I just got home like about 20 minutes ago. I let my camera charge for a little bit. And now I'm gonna do like a more in-depth haul of like everything that I bought. First, I got this Olay Balances and Even Skin Body Wash. So I'm like really congested right now. I have no idea why, but this one smells really good. I don't even think it has a scent. Oh, it says notes of apple cider vinegar. There's honestly no scent of apple cider vinegar in here, so. I guess it's just like really well mixed in. I also got a new shave cream. This is the Pure by Venus and this is in Honey Flower. This one just smells good and 
I like trying out new shaving creams. I got this EOS 24 hour moisturizer body lotion in pomegranate raspberry. This one smells so good. Um, I'm not really much of a moisturizer person. Like I always forget that I have like lotions and stuff like that and I forget to apply it. But this one smells so good, so I don't really think I'm going to forget with this one. And this one I've never seen before. This is the Age Embrace um, Pre-Cleanse Shower Butter. And it says it in the title, it's pre-cleanse. But I feel like this would work better after cleansing. I don't know, but it's just like shower butter. This one smells so good. It's by Dove. And I'm just going to see how I like it. I really don't think it's going to make much of a difference, but I only bought it because it smelled good. So next, I got a scrub. This one is the Dr. Teal's Shea Sugar Scrub in Citrus. And I always use the Tree Hut scrubs that everyone has. But I, did, but I decided to try a new one today, which is, you know, the Citrus one. And this one smells so good. I also got this leave-in conditioner by Rhyme and Reason. It's like the first thing I own by them. And the brand looks really enticing, so... Let's hope that this will work good on my hair. I also got my two favorite shampoo and conditioners, well, one of each, and this is the Anomaly Clarifying Shampoo and the Anomaly Shine Conditioner. These work so good hand in hand together because my hair is super oily, as you guys can probably tell. I don't know what it is. After a day of washing my hair, my hair gets super oily, and with these ones, my hair can get oily after like two, maybe three days. So that's better than what I usually have. I got this Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist sunscreen with an SPF of 70. The summer's coming up, I'm always needing new sunscreen, so got this one. And then I got a few of the boring necessities, which are these, I don't even know what this is, like floss, placards, micromint floss. Boring, but I also got some razors. These are my favorite ones. I said it earlier in the video, these ones make your skin so smooth. And it has like these little like soapy like attachments to the razor, which makes your skin more smooth. So that's why I like these ones. And they're super cheap. It's like seven bucks. So I'm always needing new cotton pads. And these ones are just like the basic Target brand. I just use these to remove my makeup and stuff. And then I got a couple of on the go things. I got this Vaseline. I'm always needing new lip balms. And I really like Vaseline. And this one's the Rosy Lips flavor. And I also got this Hero for Shield super light sunscreen SPF of 30. So this is just to like carry around in my purse if I forgot to apply sunscreen that day. And then the last thing that I got is this e.l.f. putty bronzer. I have never tried this before. They have the blush in the putty bronzer. Well, they have a putty blush and this one's like supposed to be like the same thing, but just bronzer. And I didn't really know what shade to get. There were like two that looked exactly the same, but I got the darker one of the two. And I think this one looks pretty good. Yeah, this is so satisfying. Oh my god, it's like so smooth. But yeah, I got some bronzer. And that is everything that I got from Target today. I'm so excited to try everything that I got. I'm definitely gonna take like a super long shower tonight and like try on everything and see how I like it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to let me know in the comments down below and I will be sure to make more. I honestly think I'm gonna make it like a tradition to make like one of these every couple months or something because like I said, I love getting new skincare products and self-care things. It's like my favorite thing. It's so therapeutic. And also, if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'd really appreciate that. But I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!